Hey everybody, this is going to be a quick tutorial on finding city boundaries using OpenStreetMaps and Overpass with Python. Uh, this gave me a trouble, a lot of trouble recently, and I just kind of wanted to release this to kind of help some people out. I uh, spent a lot of time chasing my own tail, if you know what I mean. Uh, so the end result is going to be we're just going to want to query on a single relation ID. Um, if you're not familiar with the uh, OSM query syntax, don't worry. Um, I'll try to provide this in such a way that you can uh, figure out what you need to do. Um, but this is Austin, and if you click on it, it has all of these attributes, and this is the relation that we queried off of. So how did we get this? Let's comment this out real quick. Um, what you'll have to do, you kind of have to, it's a little bit manual depending on what you're, how automatic you're trying to get the boundaries. But we're going to start off by defining an area. So this refines the entire search instead of being the entire country or whatever. We're defining it to a specific area. And we're going to um, have the area be a name that is equal to Austin. And then anything that we do inside of this, these brackets that end with the area tag will be close to that area. So an example, if we wanted to all the relations in this area, and I'm not going to explain all of the types because it's supposed to be a court video, but I highly recommend reading the documentation for OpenStreetMaps and Overpass API. There's plenty. So we want all the relations in the area that is Austin that are a boundary. And we want all the relations that are called Austin. And then finally, this is one where it can get tricky or not tricky um, depending on what you're doing. So I'm going to run this. Uh, I need the semicolon run. What do we get here? Uh, and then we need to say that we want out, or if our, we want something out of it too. I believe I forgot that. Cool. Um, no nodes repair query. This is going to just add this recursive bit. When we switch over to Python, you don't actually need it. This is just for the visual part, because for visuals, you, you do need, um, at least for the browser, it needs some extra information that you don't need in Python. So this is what you get with this. And there's a couple of things to note. There are a bunch of these extra dots. And um, what are they? Well, they're different things. It's a way. This is a the right lane of a highway. This is. Um, another way, whenever you query off of a relationship, you can't you can't really separate that much smaller. You'll get different pockets of relationship. Um, but to get it as small as we can, what we want is we want to click on the main area, and we have that's not the same. Oh yeah, we have the same relation ID. So one one three four. We paste that there. Comment this out. And if you haven't already gone to this website, I highly recommend it. It is a lifesaver when you're trying to, to manually do these queries. Com uncomment this. Run. This gives you all of these again. Now, if you are f filtering through these with Python, when you get this, this is what the data will look like. If you really just, just need the boundaries, you can filter out all the nodes that have a tag in them. None of the nodes that are the actual boundaries um, have a tag. So you can see that this is a highway with traffic. This is anything that has a tag, just, just filtered out. So let's hop over into Python real quick, and I'm going to use Jupyter Notebooks from OSM Python tools. And anything that you don't have already installed, um, I would Google it and just pip install it from there. There's no need for me to include that here. Overpass for overpass, and we're going to have overpass is equal to overpass. Then overpass.query. And we're going to go over here, and we're just going to grab this first box right here. Query is equal to stock string. Response is equal to that. And then it's going to show us the query we used. We didn't get any errors, which is good. And let's see what we have going on here. 
we're going to do the two JSON. There are tons of other methods you could use, but a lot of them are just wrappers around navigating this JSON object. Like the counts, the areas, that those are just helper methods. If it's the raw output, oopsies. And you can see that we have all of these elements, types, lat, long, and this, this is what we want. And so if we want to filter these out, filtered is equal to i for in r.json if and then let's do tags not in i dot keys cool and then we only want to go through the the elements so let's see if we get an error nope we didn't filtered so here are all of the nodes that make up um, the Austin boundary. And if we wanted to, this is kind of going a little off script here, but if we wanted to, to plot this, we're using Plotly PX. I'm going to make a data frame real quick out of the filtered data. This should work automatically. Yep. I'm just going to check check that it's what we want. Oh, that's a comma. Yep, so we have this data frame of type ID lat long. And then I actually have to do don't remember this off the top of my head. Plotly express map box. Map box. Copy this real quick, paste, df, get rid of all this. We have a lat long here. Do these things, and then we should just be able to, yep, see it. And if we're lucky, here we go. So obviously this isn't the lines, but it's the borders, and there are other geometric um, packages that you can do. But this is how you just get the border of a city that you would want. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.